What is going on? Welcome back to Trending Stocks. Today we're going to talk to you about SoFi. Pretty epic day. I want to go over some of the data points, what really driving SoFi higher and go over everything else you need to know. But first, make sure to hit that thumbs up. And with that, let's get right to it. Starting off, SoFi is up 5.14%. So pretty crazy stuff. We're about to head into a power hour and a little bit low for the volume though. So 26.1 million shares being traded. 42.03 is the average. You are seeing a lot of presence from institutions majority of which were buys you see some selling right here but aside from that majority are buys and that is all because of data that came out today so you have initial jobless claims coming in a little bit lower than anticipated so that is a very positive thing so it's 227 versus 236 the average and not only that but retail sales came in absolutely phenomenal at one percent versus the forecast of being 0.4 with this positive data though kind of comes as a somewhat of a side negative only because now the likelihood of a 50 basis point cut for the September 18th meeting is kind of off the table. So right now a 23.5% likelihood of that happening, but I think it's fair to assume having a 25 on the 70 or sorry on the September 18th meeting and then a following 25 basis point for the November 7th would be kind of ideal and that seems to be what is playing out. So I think in general that is a very positive thing and if that does happen and assuming the data from now until then continues uh, very positively then that big rotation that I talked on roughly around a month and a half ago you are going to see that happen so that's where you do see similar to what happened 2020 to 2021 huge rotation from money markets into equity so definitely stay tuned for that no official news associated to SoFi today you do see a lot of form fours that was submitted after hours yesterday nothing really crazy just a lot of directors receiving kind of restricted stock both compensation and for performance and whatever else so nothing really crazy if you ask me but you do have shorts oddly increasing 639,000 shares today so they're very doubtful about SoFi being green or maybe they're trying to slow the momentum a little bit for SoFi to get above that $7 mark. So I'm going to talk on options in a second, but 17.45% of the free flow is being shorted. Works out to be 182.64 million shares overall are being shorted. Cost of borrow average 1.05, utilization 56.17. So once again, this is why I like to analyze this, uh, this information because it is very interesting. And no matter what though, People might have different viewpoints on the data that did come out. I think both of this, so the initial job is claims and retail sales is pretty cut and dry. Like you can't really argue different viewpoints of it versus CPI. You kind of can because there's a lot of different subsections of that. So you can kind of argue that housing essentially is going up and whatever else. And this is what the city uh, analyst is saying that the feds need to cut 50 basis points in September and that's followed by another 25 in the November one so it's interesting to see their viewpoint on that and once again it kind of just shows the divide among analysts and what they feel is necessary in the broader market right now so I'm not going to play this video I just found this kind of interesting no offense to this guy I can't remember his name anyways but uh oh right here Nathan Sheets he kind of has, has a little bit more of an annoying voice. But still, aside from that, though, looking at options, 3.31 million in calls, 1.53 million in puts. So you, you are seeing a lot of dollar value getting into SoFi today. And sentiment wise, 45% of all the options being done so far today are optimistic and bullish. But looking at the open interest, this is the wall that I'm talking on that maybe shorts are increasing just to kind of slow the momentum because at that $7 strike price, you have 55,000 in open interest. And so we've already seen in the past a lot of manipulation associated to these strike prices. So market makers and shorts will not want SoFi to close above this point. So once again, that's kind of uh, happening in the mix right now. And as it stands, there is 11,000 at that 650 strike price no real change from yesterday so you can tell just people have kind of abandoned that and that people are anticipating more seven dollars coming next versus the 650 so just uh, keep that in mind that the technicals are looking a little bit more optimistic and even more so 
the fact that right now SoFi is above that 50 day moving average. So you ultimately need two con uh, consecutive days to signal a trend or either breaking or starting a trend. And so essentially if tomorrow SoFi is able to stay above that 50 day moving average, that usually does result in at least like a 20 to 30% run. So I've kind of pointed that out in the past and lo and behold, that is exactly what happened here. So basically as soon as this kind of transition happened I started to mention about that 50 day moving average and lo and behold here we are and like I said we're about to test this right now the 696 so a lot of good money is getting in and a lot of good momentum but aside from that though looking at stochastic you still do see it rather oversold at 31 number of retail investors are starting to get back into SoFi so if you have been buying give yourself a shout out in the comments but right now with it at six dollars and 95 cents it is running up to this R2 so right now trading between this R1 and R2 so 678 is that strong support and then 697 is going to be that next strong resistance slash target so this one might be the line in the stand where shorts really kind of don't allow SoFi to get above because you do have this resistance and then as well that seven dollar one in the past there might be a small likelihood that SoFi does actually close between this R2 and that kind of $7 mark, very finite, even though it's only like two, three cents, it might happen. So we'll just have to wait and see what does come tomorrow. But there is a lot of good momentum behind SoFi and rightfully so. And like I've already mentioned, if there is, and the market does truly believe that there will be back to back rate cuts and the data from now until the first meeting is and will continue to be strong, then you are starting to see and will see a rotation back into equities. So let me know your thoughts. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe. I always greatly appreciate that. So yeah, even though SoFi hasn't had all that much in news, like the momentum behind it and the broader market is A+. plus. So with that said, I appreciate all of you guys watching. And yeah, if you guys again have uh, dabbled with options, let me know what strike price you've done because you do see a lot over here as well on a side note. So a lot of people are very bullish about the foreseeable future. And if you're one of those individuals, let me know. Um, as you can kind of see that that $10 January 16th, 2026, there is 126,000 in open interest. So that'd be pretty kick ass if SoFi is above that. So yeah, we'll just wait and see. With all that said though, appreciate all of you watching.